Let's discuss how to properly align linear rails on the frame of your 3D printer. Now, not too long ago, I made a video on whether or not it was worth the hassle of installing linear rails on a 3D printer in the first place. And ultimately, I concluded that yes, they're a fantastic upgrade if you are seeking consistent performance. However, I did express that lining up the linear rails on a 3D printer can be an enormous pain in the butt because linear rails are a precision motion instrument. They do not like to bind. And in situations like in my kit, the Y-axis has two linear rails in the same direction as well as my Z-axis. And if one of them is out of alignment with the other, it will bind and ultimately stop the motion of something like the carriage. It will get stuck. So lining them up perfectly is extremely important and it can be a difficult task. And the number one comment that I received is why not just 3D print a bracket to hold the parts in place and line it up that way? Well, here's the thing. As much as this is a precision machine for printing, 3D prints have their flaws. They are not always 100% dimensionally accurate, let's just say. And when dealing with constrained motion like this, you really are trying to aim for the highest level of accuracy possible. So, I have a solution, and I've actually just been waiting on it for a long time now. Because, again, it comes from AliExpress. These are precision CNC machined guides that are designed specifically for this purpose. This right here is designed to go around an MGN 12 linear rail and a 2020 extrusion. And this is designed for an MGN 12 rail to go around a 2040 extrusion. And these have absolutely no tolerance for being off. This is what you want to align something. These are subtractive manufactured in a way that allows you to be precise. So let's show what that looks like. If I line things up right here, you'll see that it is nice and nice and good. Now, this is something you would kind of slide as you go down when you're lining up. So you would start with your first nut here, your first T-nut here, and you'd, you'd get it you know, just tight enough so that it's uh, not going to move, but just barely loose enough so that you can pivot the rest of the rail as you slide this down, tightening down T-nuts along the linear rail. And that is how you line it up. Now, let's talk about this one, because this is going to show you exactly why these things are handy. I'm going to try to put this over my 2020 extrusion. Uh-oh. It's not lined up, because uh, my linear rail is slightly lower than it should be. And the process is really the same. I need to loosen up the T-nuts so that I can move the linear rail to fit on this little bracket, this little guide. And then I just go little by little until everything's perfectly straight and lined up. Now, you could do it in an easier way if you have two of each of these. You can have one here and one over there, and then you can pretty much assume for the most part that uh, it's going to be lined up perfectly. Uh, these things are made pretty well. They're, they're cheap enough. They're only like two to three bucks each. So for a tool that is going to, make, going to make your life considerably easier and more reliable than a 3D printed part for this particular application, it's very much worth the few dollars you're going to pay to get it. Yeah, on AliExpress, you're going to be waiting like maybe three weeks like I was for this to come in. But on a printer that needs to be aligned properly, this is the right way to do it. I don't believe 3D printed 
brackets like these are the proper way to go about it. I really don't. And maybe that's me just being over, over cautious about it. And, you know, I've, I've dealt with binding on linear rails. It's not a pretty thing. And I just figure if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. So that is the little spiel I wanted to express to you guys today. You can find these on AliExpress. There's multiple sellers that sell these. BLV is the company that I went with for these. So hopefully this video was helpful and informative.